What's up gamers? Welcome back to Disney Dreamlight Valley. Today we are going to talk about some news that we've gotten about the next big Mulan update. If you're new here, hello, my name is Jamie and I make lots of Dreamlight Valley content here on my channel and I would love for you to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any updates. Today we're going to talk about the timing of the next big free content update which is coming very soon and the new star path because we got some hints about that as well. So let's head over to X and see what the developers have been posting. All right so first up over here on the Disney Dream Life Valley social account we have an update on some high priority issues that they are working on fixing. This post says, with another free content update on the horizon and more news to follow soon, we wanted to share details on some of the fixes that we've prioritized based off your feedback. We sincerely appreciate everyone who has taken the time to report bugs and issues they've run into and further extend our gratitude for your patience as we have investigated your reports. See below for a list of the incoming fixes alongside our rapidly arriving update. So all of these bug fixes are going to come with the new update. They're not doing a hot fix in between. So we are going to have to wait a little bit longer for these. But it looks like they're working on optimizations to improve crash rates on all platforms. Objects no longer appearing invisible. Daisy will share the time when you can start your next boutique challenge. That's really good. Uh, players will be able to cook all recipes outdoors without risking uh, related freeze. Resolutions for various dresses with clipping issues. Various quest progression blocker res resolutions. And numerous other bug fixes and improvements. The post goes on to say, while we are eager to share exciting update content with you, we wanted to make sure that we keep you in the loop about the status of some of the core issues impacting players' experiences first as it's our priority to resolve disruptions to your gameplay experience in the Valley. Our team is also committed to the ongoing improvement and mitigation of crash-related issues. This will remain the key focus moving forward. Thank you once again for your understanding and support, and we hope you look forward to further news and timing regarding our next update and these fixes and more next week. So what that's saying right there at the end is that Next week, we are not getting the update, but we're getting news about when the update is going to happen. So originally, we thought that the update was going to happen on June 19th, which is Wednesday, because that is the last day of spring. And this update was supposed to come out in late spring. However, I think that because of all of these issues um, in the last update and in this current update, they've had to push the dates a little bit. So I'm thinking that we're going to be getting the update on the 26th, but we'll have to wait and find out more information next week. And then yesterday we got this fun post that says, hey, a new update's on its way. Coincidentally, that also means a brand new star path. Based on the emojis below, any guesses as to what items you can expect from the star path? So we have a t-shirt and what looks like a cricket. We have a little person and a fan. And then we have a pair of kites. Oh, my cat's meowing again. I'm so sorry if you can hear her in the background. <laughs> so for the first one, I'm thinking that that is going to mean that we're getting some kind of clothing with the cricket from Mulan. Because this is going to be a Mulan update. We're getting uh, her realm. So I'm going to assume that we're getting Mulan as a character for our valley. Uh, it's possible that we'll also be getting Mushu. So I am excited to find out more about that. I'm not sure if we'll just be getting one character or two characters with this update. So we'll have to wait and see about that. But there is a Cricket, the Lucky Cricket character in that movie. And I think that this means that we're going to get some apparel uh, surrounding that Cricket. The next one, I think that this emoji, um, person tipping hand. I don't know. I always kind of like associate this one with uh, touching your hair. So I want to say that we're going to be getting some kind of new hairstyle here. That's going to be like a Mulan theme of some kind. Um, or it could be an accessory. We could be uh, getting um, hand fans to hold 
like we do the umbrellas and uh, the new bubble wands. And then the third set of emojis is a pair of kites. And I'm really curious as to why they decided to do two kites, because usually this is like two hints as to what the items are going to be. But since it's two kites, I'm wondering if there's some significance to that. Um, if them being a pair, I can't really come up with anything on the top of my head. I'm not sure. We can scroll down and see what some people are saying about this. This person is talking about it being a craftable object, which would be really cool. Chelsea here is talking about cricky apparel and motifs, all, sites, all sorts of Mulan items, and the kites are giving Mary Poppins. That's interesting. I was never a big Mary Poppins person, so I don't really, I don't know anything about her. Umbrellas make me think Mary Poppins. A shirt with a cricket in the pocket. Oh, that would be so cool. And this is fan accessories and kites. Whatever y'all are bringing, I'm very excited. And they responded saying, loving your excitement. Keep an eye on the valley to find out. Oh, there's Jade Miss Gaming. Let's see if I can actually complete this one without all the crashes. Couldn't do the last one since all the crashes reset my progress. Oh, no. Dang, that's unfortunate. Thankfully, I haven't had any really bad like bugs like that. Um, I play on the PC. I don't know if that makes a difference, but I find that the PC, um, I have a lot less issues. This person says Cricky shirts. Is that how you say that? Cricky? A fan accessory. Hopefully it works like an umbrella or a bag and some pride kites. Oh yeah, where's the pride merch? They did say uh, either earlier this week or last week that we are getting uh, more pride items soon. So we're going to have to wait and see what happens with that. But hopefully they'll be releasing that stuff this week to hold us over for the next update. Mulan, but also a Scrooge update please. <laughs> yeah, um, this is how my store looks too, unfortunately. I really do hope that Scrooge gets some new items in this next update. This person says, my guesses are Pinocchio clothes. Oh, interesting. I didn't even really think about that. Uh, Mulan fans, new poses, obviously kites. Could be Pooh Bear, Mushu, or Mary Poppins. Interesting. <laughs> this person just says Mulan stuff. <laughs> A lot of people are expressing uh, being burnt out over the star paths and that they take too long or that there's too much that you have to do for them. Uh, for me, it's not too difficult. Um, I'm able to get through it in a reasonable amount of time, even just giving like, you know, maybe a half hour every couple of days, I'm able to finish the, the star path. Uh, but I have been playing since the very beginning. So I think that for people who have not been playing for that long, um, who haven't progressed as far in the game, the star paths are really difficult. So it really just depends on, you know, when you started playing and how far you are in the game. I will say that I don't really like the system that we have now of all of the duties starting off with like five tokens and then 10 tokens and then 20 tokens. I feel like they should be all mixed together like they used to be depending on the difficulty of the duty. You know what I mean? Like something that's more time consuming or that's more difficult should be worth more tokens. Another person Nothing. talking about the star path being really stressful. Oh, here are some more guesses. We have Bugs Life, Coco, and Up. Oh, that's interesting. I don't really associate kites with Up though. Ooh, this person thinks maybe a Cricky onesie. That would be cute. Fan accessory and kite flying with friends. Oh, that would be really fun. Another activity to do with friends would be really, really cool. Yeah, I think everyone is in agreement that it's going to be some kind of like cricky outfit and a fan accessory. So I'm very curious to see. All right, let's look at one more person's guesses. We have a shirt and cricket, Mulan's matchmaker outfit. Oh, the cricket represents... Ricky from Mulan. Okay. Person gesturing and a fan. Mulan or matchmaker from Mulan. Mulan uses a fan during her encounter with the matchmaker. And then two kites, Mary Poppins. You guys explain to me in the comments two kites and Mary Poppins because I don't even know that I've ever even seen Mary Poppins. So I have no idea what this whole kite thing is about. 
And they actually just posted this that says Disney and Pixar's Inside Out 2 launches in theaters today. Celebrate with a sneak peek at something arriving in our next update. And then it shows what appears to be a new critter companion. I think this looks like a squirrel to me, but I'm not quite sure. Again, you guys know I haven't even seen Inside Out, so I'm not really sure what the characters are. But let's see what some people are saying. Oh, here's Tinker Lily. She says, is this an anxiety critter? Such a mood. Wow, that's interesting. I never would have thought that. (gasps) Oh my gosh. Imagine. (laughs) This is one of my favorite Disney movies. The Emperor's New Groove. Um, This little squirrel is my favorite. Oh my god. I would absolutely love this. I'm not sure how you would really implement it into the game though. Let's see. Can we possibly get Pixie Hollow with Tinkerbell and all the Disney fairies? That would be really cool. We do have a a fairy house. That uh, fairy house skin is very cool. I would really love to see fairies in the game. The only thing my mind can think of is that this is a squirrel based on anxiety. Wow. So we've got a few people saying anxiety squirrel. Where did you get this picture of me? (laughs) Oh my gosh. Anxiety capybara? I don't know if that's a capybara. Angry squirrel? Ooh. Look at his little hairs. Emotional support squirrel. (laughs) So I guess our our next critter companion in the star path is probably going to be a squirrel. There are a lot of people complaining that it's another squirrel. Because we have gotten a lot of star path squirrels, that's for sure. (laughs) I definitely want to hear your guys' guesses about the star path in the comments below, along with that explanation of Mary Poppins. Tell me what you're most excited for with this new update and... Make sure you give the video a like as well. It really helps my channel grow. And I appreciate it so, so much. I want to give a special thank you to my members. You guys are amazing. I am so grateful for you going above and beyond and supporting me in this little Dreamlight Valley channel of mine. Thank you so much. And if you guys are interested in the memberships, they are linked in the description of every video if you want to check those out. I have got to get started on another members only video for you guys, which I might work on this weekend actually. So keep an eye out for that. And if you do become a member at the friends tier or higher, there are some members only videos available right now. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today and I hope you have a magical weekend and I will see you again very, very soon. Bye.